Hi, uh, my name is Andre. Welcome to my studio and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you like my videos. Today I want to show you how I paint sunflowers. They're standing majestically on a field uh, staring in the sun. That's why I propel the name is sunflowers. They're in a matter of uh, abstract way and uh, uh, hope you like it. The presentation and uh, see you at the painting board. Okay, so I did a sketch and uh, that was a little bit more complicated than I thought. Okay, let's do some inking now. I'm doing uh, waterproof ink and uh, putting usually the small container, which is easier for me. And I'm using dip paints, different type of uh, different lines. I could use those tools, but uh, they have a one line. If it's 0, 05, it's 0, 05. And uh, same thing with uh, this, it's a 0, 0.35, will be 0, 0.35 and uh, paint brush the same way so I instead I'm gonna use a regular paint and paint brush uh, um. okay the main reason is why I'm not using those tools is that I want to have a more control so when I push it harder I have a thicker line when I have a, a last uh, push and then I have a thinner line and uh, uh, that's that's my person preference here I realized that you know it would be hard for me to ink in because I just don't see it where to go. Uh, I thought they will do it, so I had to come back with a pencil and uh, make it more uh, defined the way I want to do it. So it's finally finished with the drawings, and now I'm going to do inking, and, uh, and that will be easier for me to continue uh, an adventure on the little sunflowers. Usually I don't stay in the lines. Uh, what I do is, is just sketch for me is just like a guidance. And in this, this close up, you can see it. It just, it just, I want to let the ink flow uh, and uh, let's kind of get the feeling. Uh, as you see, I changing line by pushing harder or less. And then my line, it change. I could do the same thing with changing tools over and over. But at this moment, I just feel kind of, I guess I'm, classical and old-fashioned I just like the way here's my brush to fill up the little uh, the larger spaces and I just want to say it there uh, pick up the brush that you will not cry over because ink is very aggressive uh, uh, to the hair and the brush hair so uh, keep in mind when you're doing this in this close-up you can see it I'm uh, not staying the lines pushing harder so the line is will be thicker I'll be changing back and forth in uh, this uh, uh, nib and uh, they're just a little finishing. Uh, this is how I look in the close up finish inking, at least what I'm thinking at that moment. And you can see it uh, uh, in the spaces are not fill up completely and they have uh, some white spots. This is my favorite brush. I'm painting them a little bit in, in the late afternoon uh, so that everything is will be in a colder area. However, there will be some really like sunset and uh, I want to have this, it's not as, as bright as, as early morning. This one will be just kind of very warm on the flower side and uh, uh, it just like first wash. So they're very delicate at the moment. I come back later to make a little bit of extension to make it like a sort of a 3D and, uh, and, uh, and I see I'm going to hit them with the inks. But right now it's just like a first wash, I just want to make a registration, where is the flower, where is the uh, leaves. For the inside I'm using a little bit uh, red barn, alizarin crimson, it just got a little warm uh, approach and uh, there's uh, just like some flowers. Now I'm going to do the petals and uh, uh, cadmium yellow and okra and they give you a little uh, kind of orange, uh, not as bright as if I would paint them in the morning, they would be a little bit brighter. But uh, this time it's just like I said, almost sunset, and uh, they'll be uh, on a darker side. So the first wash almost finished, uh, and I will be developing uh, uh, the rest of the leaves and uh, see uh, uh, how we're gonna do it. What will be forward? What will be front? What will be back? And uh, just kind of playing. That's what the fun begins. And uh, uh, you can take a time. I'm mixing, you know, olive green and uh, uh, sub green. So uh, and again, that's uh, like a second wash now with a little, with a red barn, a little bit sepia. 
as you can see it there's a lot of the hard edges and uh, I love the hard edges I mean they call them cauliflower edges but for for this purpose that's great because they give you a dynamic and a, a drama and uh, uh, I'm gonna hit it with a Lamy uh, uh, fountain pen loaded with a black ink to do a little bit more drama you know and uh, make a distinction in the leaves and the, and the, and the petals I'm going to use the fountain pen we we'll loaded with a, a gold ink and because I want to have a, like a very delicate lines almost like invisible uh, in the petals and uh, so this is a gold that will be just great with uh, coming with the cadmium yellow leaves and, uh, and uh, okra so it uh, just yeah more lines more drama dynamic uh, and uh, excitement uh let's continue playing with the same ink and uh, see it will happening uh this one is loaded with a red ink i believe there's some flying stuff in the air when you look at the field uh, and when the sunflowers grows this one is a little bit darker ink um uh, it just more definition, more defined uh, leaves and the, and the, and the petals. Uh, as you see, a lot of a lot of hard edges. Someone will tell you they are not good, but I mean, when you do the abstract painting, that is your uh, the hard edges are your friend. So don't worry about it. And just everything goes and everything is okay. And uh, we don't go for re realism. We going for the action for dynamic. For excitement and uh, just a little bit here and here touching uh, with a dark ink and, uh, and this one is made in america so i love that one too it's very nice and dark in the close-ups you can see it uh, how how many lines and how dynamic the paintings are and those reds in the cadmium red i forgot to tell you that i'll put a little bit cadmium red on top of the so I hope you like the presentation and my way to uh, how I'm approaching the uh, painting and how I'm doing the sunflowers who screaming I want a more sun. I uh, hope you see you next time and uh, keep it painting.